Um, this is just going to be my thoughts of CM Punk winning the World Heavyweight title and some Raw thoughts slash WWE thoughts. But before I get into all that, I just want to talk about any, uh, two things real quick. For, uh, you know, this underground rap, definitely the new um, Immortal Technique CD, Third World, definitely is a good CD for anyone to check out. Um, definitely enjoy it. Obviously, if you're a fan of hip-hop and the real hip-hop, not the trash and bullshit you hear on TV, you get in, especially fans of political rap. And I'm a huge fan of their uh, of um, his as well. Immortal Technique, definitely a good artist. And um, actually, another thing, when I was picking up this CD, I actually saw something that um, I knew it was probably going to be coming out in store soon, but I didn't know it was in stores yet, and that was the um, TNA Global Impact DVD, which um, now is ex um, exclusively in Best Buy stores. So anyone just like me that's held off of wanting to get this DVD due to TNA's outrageous shipping, and pretty much I am not a, don't really want to order from TNAShop.com because I've dealt with them in the past, and they've not really been the greatest with handling your stuff and it's taken forever so definitely anyone that hasn't picked this DVD up yet it's definitely worth picking up it's only fifteen dollars at um, your local Best Buy I think that's the only store that's carrying it at least at this point possibly some other stores like FYE might get it soon and um, speaking of DVDs um, obviously this coming Tuesday we have three major releases coming out you got the Next two Best of Ring of Honor DVDs, you got Greatest Rivals and Best in the World. Obviously, Best in the World is probably going to do the best selling of the two, I would say, due to the fact, you know, you got a lot of the known stars like Samoa Joe, CM Punk, and obviously, you know, one of the most highly, you know, praised match in Ring of Honor history in Samoa Joe versus, Kent, versus Kento Kobashi, you know. Not the best match in Ring of Honor, because I think Joe, Joe versus Punk 2 is the best match in Ring of Honor. And then, obviously, the biggest release of the, out of those three, which is going to be a WWE DVD, which is the um, Ric Flair definitive, definitive Collection, which definitely cannot wait for this. This has been one DVD I've been waiting for for a while. Obviously, I was a fan of the Ric Flair DVD that got released a couple years ago. And anyone, anyone at this point, if you do not have that DVD, go out and buy that. Um, I don't think I think at this point everyone should own that DVD. That's easily one of the best DVDs that WWE has ever produced. Um, this one looks like it could be that good, if not even better, because you got two discs of great matches. Great matches. You have the fully length fr from stuff we saw on TV and the stuff we didn't see on TV. The Rick Rick Flair farewell on Raw. So that's definitely good. Good to be on there in a full-length documentary, which is one thing I've been looking for them to do for a while with Ric Flair. So definitely have some three DVDs to check out for next week. And um, last thing I'll get to before I get into Raw Thoughts is on um, July 15th. Um, don't know if this is going to be carried in stores. It's going to be kind of like the ring, first two Ring of Honor DVDs were, where it's going to be available on you know FYE.com and BestBuy.com. Don't necessarily know if it's going to be carried in stores. If they... Get demand, which, you know, if you want this DVD to be carried in the stores and you're a fan of Pro Wrestling Gorilla, just do what, you know, made Ring of Honor DVDs get in stores, which is, you know, keep calling them, you know, saying, you know, you got this so-and-so DVD, you know, special order it, which is what I did with the um, Best of PWG, which is P uh, Pro Wrestling Gorilla Sells Out DVD, which is coming out on um, July 15th, and anyone that um, hasn't seen the match listing for this, it's definitely a great DVD. It's pretty much all their best footage from 2004 to 2007. Obviously not every single thing, but pretty much a good pack of stuff from those years, and I ha I've seen most of the stuff on it, um, but there's some some matches on it I haven't seen, so definitely cannot wait for that DVD to come out, and anyone that you know, as a fan of Ring of Honor or a fan of any wrestling or, you know, as a fan of Pro Wrestling Gorilla, definitely check out that DVD. That's going to be a very good DVD when that comes out. And definitely for the price of it, only being 15 to $20 for three discs of about 10 hours of action. That's going to be great. Now let me get on to my WWE thoughts. And firstly, CM Punk winning the World Heavyweight title. Definitely a great moment. Probably easily one of the best um, WWE moments in a long time long, long time, and um, easily, you know, a huge mark out moment, um, 
pretty much I think everyone saw it coming. Not, you know, never, I don't think anyone when Raw starts saw it coming, but definitely when Batista came out there and started beating up Edge, I'm pretty sure everyone at that point saw that CM Punk was going to cash in the money in the bank. But even though I already knew that was going to happen, I still marked out marked out like hell when he came out there and then his music hit. He came out there, hit the go to sleep on Edge, won the World Heavyweight title. Great moment. Um, and I don't care, even if he's a transitional champion, if he even loses it, loses it at Great American Bash, I don't care. Just as long as he's a World Heavyweight champion. And this basically pays back for, you know, some of the you know questionable booking that WWE has been doing with him. So, and pretty much some of that questionable booking was not really to bury him, but basically to get him to this level of being world heavyweight champion. Um, because, you know, they basically wanted to, you know, do that to CM Punk, to make him make make him seem like, you know, okay, if he handles being okay, you know, doing job after job, and he keeps handling himself well, we'll give him the world title. Definitely a great moment for CM Punk. Um, definitely a change in, in the guards in WWE. Um, as soon as Triple H leaves Monday Night Raw, what do we see? We see Monday Night Raw have a completely, completely new change. We see fresh faces as world champions. We see CM Punk winning the World Heavyweight Championship. We see Kofi Kingston winning the Intercontinental title. We see new tag team champions and a very fresh and young tag team in um, Ted DiBiase Jr. and Cody Rhodes. So definitely a good thing there. Um, Obviously, CM Punk, I see him being a transitional champion. Most likely, what you're going to see is probably a three-way at um, Great American Bash or just a singles match between him and JBL or throwing Cena in the mix and making, a, making it a three-way. If they do it in the way of a three-way and they want to make Punk still look very strong, just don't have him be the one to take the fall. If you want Cena to become champion, have JBL get pinned. Or you could have you know CM Punk keep hold of the title, until SummerSlam, um, I'll be highly, highly shocked by WWE. I'll be really shocked if CM Punk is still world champion after SummerSlam, or if he even keeps it till, till SummerSlam. But still, nonetheless, he's a world champion. I'm glad he finally got it. Been a fan of him for a long time, especially me being a huge Ring of Honor fan, and his indie work, too, before he got to WWE. So definitely he's paid his dues for this moment, and definitely a huge, huge, great moment for CM Punk. I'm glad that he finally became world champion. Hopefully WWE keeps to this, keeps having these fresh faces as as champions and changes up Raw. It's going to be, you know, interesting to see if WWE keeps this going. Obviously, I enjoyed Raw this past Monday like a lot of people. Um, you know, it wasn't one of those Raws that, you know, was high on wrestling. Pretty much didn't have hardly any wrestling on it, but it was, you know, 2 hours of entertainment wrestling, which WWE is an entertainment organization. So, you know, just as long as they deliver on entertainment aspects, I'm, I'm, I'm glad they do that. And um, if you can't deliver on a, you know, pure wrestling aspect, deliver on an entertainment aspect. And that's what this last Monday Night Raw was, which was two hours of great entertainment. Um, some stuff, you know, like the Jamie Noble and Kane segment. Um, I know some people liked it. I really wasn't a fan of it, not because I didn't like Jamie Noble getting squashed, but... It was a little childish, but, you know, it got Jamie Noble some TV time, so that's all well and fine. And definitely this is um, definitely great to see this. Hopefully they do good with CM Punk as champion. Um, just glad they gave him an opportunity. Hopefully, you know, if the ratings increase from Raw, which, you know, this past Monday Raw did a 3.5 up to a 3.4, which was the previous week with the draft. And, um, you know, possibly, you know, CM Punk could be one of those champions. If WWE looks at the ratings and they see a little rise in the ratings, possibly give him a chance to let him hold on title for a little while. But, unfortunately, he's not like Triple H, um, whereas if the ratings dip and the ratings fall down, it's not going to be blamed on WWE's booking. It's going to be blamed on the World Heavyweight Champion. Obviously, when Triple H is World Champion, he doesn't get blamed for, you know, basically the political reasons why he doesn't get blamed for anything in WWE. And um, hopefully, you know, some things will go well with SmackDown. Obviously, I'm pretty much pretty sure that Triple H is going to most likely bury all the talent because um, him and Edge are going to be taking on each other at Great American Bash. Hopefully, the match will deliver. At least if the match delivers, I'll be okay with that match. And um, definitely um, 
Hopefully they don't. He doesn't completely bury Edge, which I'm pretty sure that's what is going to happen at Great American Bash in the months coming up. You'll probably see Edge get completely buried. I'll, uh, hopefully he'll stay in the mid card role, what not the not the mid card role, but the main event role. Hopefully he'll stay up there. Um, definitely he's such a strong heel. It will be idiotic for them to you know push him down any further because you know it, it would be completely idiotic. Um, I would say you know. And in, in modern time, right now, Edge is easily the most hated man in wrestling, and easily is one of the best heels. You know, he could possibly be going down as one of the best heels of all time. He's obviously not up to the level of Ric Flair yet, but he's pretty damn close to being that hated of a wrestler. You know, on Ric Flair's level, so definitely um, some great stuff. Hopefully, they keep him where he is and. Maybe give him a, another world title shot and let him actually defeat Triple H sometime in the future. 